TV.com and today is show number 11. Today we're in Stamford, Connecticut and I've been attending a, a seminar on energy medicine put on by Energetics and the seminar was about bioenergetic methodologies. It's about holistic, natural and complementary and integrative healthcare. Today again we have your health tip for this week and we also have your muscle testing tip. Your health tip is going to be for practitioners geared toward practitioners, but even if you're not a healthcare practitioner, I want you to pay attention because the health tip that our guest is going to be giving you today is something that you want to look for when you go see a natural health, an alternative health, a complementary health integrative practitioner. So let's get to that interview with our guest this week. His name is James Maskell. And then right after that, we'll get you your muscle testing tip. Hi, this is Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com and today we're here in Connecticut. We've just been attending a natural health, a, an energy medicine seminar put on by a company called Energetics and we're here with James Mascal and he represents the entire Northeast for Energetics. Yes. And Energetics is one of the supplement lines that I use and one of the reasons that I like this company is because it's about energy medicine and they utilize muscle testing and kinesiology as part of their assessment and treatment protocols for practitioners who, who take their seminars. And uh, James has been very helpful. Yeah, well, you know, as the name suggests, Energetics is a company that works with practitioners uh, in, in this field. And, and one thing that we think it's very important to um, to emphasize is the individuality and really working with people on an individual basis. So, you know, with the ability to muscle test, you're able to uh, take a, a person with whatever symptoms they come in and start to get more of an idea of what the causative factors might be. And given that that's a skill that you can use in, in muscle testing and, and, and as sort of an energetic diagnostic technique, it seems ludicrous to, uh, you know, provide the same protocols for the same symptoms because it seems to me that's really just a, a throwback to allopathic medicine and what we're really looking at here is a is a holistic science so you know energetics really does look to honor um, the way and help practitioners not only to use the right products but also to develop their own testing skills to be able to work with you know a wide variety of uh, different conditions and types of things that come into the practice and that's one of the reasons that I that I really have enjoyed working with James and this company is because Many times in the past I've been to seminars and trainings where they will say, well this is the protocol for this condition and this is what you do and this is what works. And then you'll go to another seminar and they'll say, well this is the protocol that you use for this condition and this is what works. And they may contradict each other and they're not even alike and there's no integration. So what I, what I appreciate about what we've learned today is, is they really encourage us as practitioners to learn how to think and they say, look, we work complementary. We work in an integrative way and they want practitioners to develop their own individual skill set and treat each patient, each condition individually because that's one of the things that we say here all the time that there's no one thing that causes anything. Exactly. And so we have to figure out what exactly are the individual things with that each individual case that caused the problem in the first place. Exactly. And uh, you know, being able to do that is really the the key to unlocking a lot of these tough cases. You know, um, if you be whether it be MS or autism or those type of things, you, you see a wide variety of different causative factors in people, um, and and yet the same symptoms. And um, I think. Uh, you know, one of the ways in which practitioners doing energetic medicine can separate themselves is by able to really help people on a case-by-case -case basis, and that's what we're for. So, um, you know, if you're a lay person, you can call Energetics to find a practitioner in your area. The website is uh, goenergetics.com, G-O-E-N-E-R-G-E-T-I-X.com. And uh, if you're a practitioner, you can go to the same site and put in your details, and we'll be in touch. Great, and you can see that link right below this video on the webpage. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot for joining okay. us today, James. Thanks, Dr. Collier. Thanks. So that was your health tip for this week from James Maskell from Energetics. Now your muscle testing tip for this week, again, here at MuscleTestingTV.com, we're sharing, uh, sometimes we share basic tips and sometimes we share advanced tips. Today we're going to share with you another basic tip that's one of our 21 muscle testing do's and don'ts that we teach in our live workshops and seminars and that we teach in our home study course. And that is this, when you are muscle testing with someone, and you go to test and you go to push on their arm, push lightly. 
You don't have to push hard. You don't have to use a lot of force. We have a colleague who every time he tests, he uses a knife edge and he uses as much pressure as he possibly can. So he's going to test and he like leans on your arm as hard as he possibly can. And what happens is it wears you out. I go to get treated by this guy and I'm tired. I'm like, dude, my arm is getting tired. My neck is getting tired from holding up my shoulder. Uh, Melanie went with me, we went to go see this guy, and he's a fine practitioner, and we really like him. He just tests too gosh darn hard. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. When we're doing muscle testing, we're creating an energetic circuit between the person who's doing the tester and the person who's being tested. We're creating an electrical circuit and we're using a muscle, it could be any muscle in the body, to act as a circuit breaker or an indicator. So this is a type of energy medicine but it's a subtle test and so it's really not necessary to use a lot of force and a lot of pressure. Also, as you get better at testing, you're going to want to have a lot of fun testing stuff in your life. In our basic course and in our live home, our live workshops and seminars, we show you over 27 different areas of your life you can start testing. And then at the advanced level, you get to start asking questions and you're doing truth testing and if you're a practitioner, you're checking supplements and dosages and, and treatment protocols and all kinds of cool stuff. So what happens is you're going to be using this more and more throughout the day or when you're doing testing, you're going to have longer testing periods. And if you push really hard, then the person doing the testing gets tired. You know, you're going to get tired. You're going to get tired from cranking on somebody's arm or leg or, or whatever muscle you're using. And the person being tested, they're going to get tired too. They're going to be like, you know, if they didn't have a problem, you certainly could cause one. And if they did have a problem or a pre-existing condition, you can aggravate it and make it worse. So anyway, that's your muscle testing tip for this week. Don't push so hard. Push lightly. You want to feel for that muscle to lock in. And that's really all you need. Ask the person to meet your resistance. If you're, if you're pushing, if you feel like you have to keep pushing harder, actually you get two tips this week. If you feel like you're having to keep pushing harder because they're like really resisting, you, you, when you're saying hold strong or resist, and they're like, you know, really locking that arm in, tell them, ease up. You don't have to hold quite so hard. Just meet my resistance. And then when you push more lightly, they'll be like, oh, okay. And then they'll, they won't have to hold as strong. So that's your two muscle testing tips for this week. That's your health tip from James Maskell from Energetics. And remember our motto here at MuscleTestingTV.com. You are the source of your own happiness. I'm Dr. Andrew Collier from MuscleTestingTV.com. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.